So the views and opinions expressed in this program do not necessarily represent the views and opinions of Columbia Access Television or Stevens College. Viewer discretion is advised. Ladies and gentlemen, please bring your attention to the stage. Coming up next, we have a comedian from St. Louis. He traveled all the way here. Please be respectful or else. And now I bring to the stage Derek Graham. Enjoy. Nash Binya Manafi Mano Na A Svenya Ho A Svenya Ho Imina Imi Minama Imina Imi Minama Isn't that like the greatest opening that you guys have ever heard? Seriously, yes! That's the Lion King, ladies and gentlemen. And you remember being a kid, your dad, being like, get the goddamn popcorn, get in the movie theater, hurry your shit up, and next thing you know, you're sitting there, you look up, you see the sun, and next thing you know, nah, spinya mana fi manaro, nah, spinya ho, na mana imi mana, and then there's the Fruit Loop bird, and it's flying, and National Geographic's like, what the fuck? I've never seen shit like this before. They have a dynasty, and then Scarface goes on a mass shooting spree. Remember that movie where Scarface goes on a mass shooting spree? That's awesome. That's what it's about nowadays. That's what's in. That's what's cool. Hey, hey, I have something to say. I don't know if it's because I have a microphone next to my mouth, but I have something to say. And it goes like this. Why is it with Disney movies, are they making everything that wants to kill you awesome and fun? It's like a hippo is the number one man killer on earth. And they always have that is some big sassy black woman who's like, come here, sugar. Give me a kiss. And it's like, if you kiss that hippo, you will die. If you shake that monkey's hand, he will kill you. You will be taken you will be taken. Have you guys seen that movie, Taken? I wanna write Taken 3, and it's called You've Been Took. And it stars Forrest Gump, and the first scene is him, and it's like, seat's taken. And he's like, well, I was running. You know what sucks about that movie? Is that every dad in real life has to look at his little girl and tell her the truth, and the truth to that conversation is when she calls you up and she's like, Dad, I've been taken. I don't know what's going on. I'm so scared. The real dad goes, I'm sorry, Bethany, but this is goodbye because I'm just, I'm just an average dude. I don't know karate. I told you not to go to Paris. When mom was like, you need to go to Paris, what was dad like? He was like, don't go to Paris. Don't go to Paris. And now you're in Paris. So click. And she's gone, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, you know what? People should look at me real quick because I'm a ginger, ladies and gentlemen. And we're a dying breed of human. There's 1% left of us. So I'm like a unicorn up here walking around. So you should be like, wow, there's still a few of you. You're still here. You're still around. And I know it's weird because it's like genocide, right? We're like, fuck that. Fuck genocide. I can't take that. But with the gingers, everyone's like, it's okay. Let it happen. Take your time. They're almost gone. Well, I say no. I say my race is strong and my race is proud. Long live the ginger race. Hey, it's Halloween. Who's scared? Not me. What's up with scary movies? It's like, why every time is there shit going on where everyone's being butchered, they still think it's a joke. They still think it's a shenanigan. They're like, I can't use the phone. I can't call the police. Quit joking around, Robert. 
I know you just want to do it because I left you here in the shady ass cabin, came back three hours, and I've been going, Robert, Robert, where are you? And you haven't replied. But I know this dripping blood means you're fucking with me somewhere. No, it's scary. I don't know why every time you don't hear the Halloween music, da, 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 you're not like, oh shit. Oh shit. Michael is somewhere around. Just walk. People are always killing themselves. Michael just has to like walk around and they're like, ah, knife, ah, broken leg. And Michael's still walking. They're like, ah, and they're like, head chop. And then he just comes up and goes, you're dead. Where's Lori? That's great. Who's the guy uh, running the thing? How much time do I have left? Keep going. Keep doing it, dude. Ride this wave all the way through, pothead. I'm so glad to actually see an audience. I figured most of you would be in Colorado already blowing glass, for God's sakes. What is so great about Denver? Why are you all trying to go there? Every guy I talk to is like, I'm going to Denver, dude. Gonna blow glass, have six plants. It's the shit. I'm talking chicken without a dick. What does that mean? Chickens don't have dicks. That's a rooster. That's a rooster. It's crazy, though. I don't know why everyone wants to go to Denver. I feel like that's where all the crazy shit is happening. I want to stay here in Missouri. Why? Let's look at the real facts, ladies and gentlemen. America's greatest outlaw, Jesse James. America's heartthrob, Brad Pitt. Somewhat of an okay comedian, Garfield Derek Graham. I like the woos, because it means we're having a good time. And it's Halloween night, and that's what it's about. Tipping bartenders, having a good night, talking amongst my, me, over me. It's microphone. Look at him. Look at Derek Renfro, ladies and gentlemen. If this was a costume contest, this is the part of the show where I'd go, winner is Derek Renfro. Come on up. But, no, stay down. Stay down. This is my moment. Man, I hate public restrooms. I really do. They freak me out. So when I have to go over there, I get scared as shit. Because where I grew up, you couldn't just go potty. You couldn't just have a good time, a moment to yourself. There was always someone trying to screw with me. I don't know. They could sense the ginger blood. I think that's what it was. I would have to like do a reconnaissance mission. I don't even know if I said the word right, but I'd have to do this mission where I'd have to scope out the bathroom for weeks. And then finally I'm like, okay, go, go, go. Next thing I know, I'm sitting there, boom, foot in the wall. Dude's coming, woo, yeah, yeah. I don't know what is it, but I want to kill it. Do you guys hear that? It's a ginge taking a shit. Yeah, next thing I know, I got Jack Nicholson looking through the eye hole, being like, here's Johnny. And I'm like, no, people aren't courteous. We're middle-aged now. But remember when people weren't courteous? I do. It's called 15 years old, gang banging. You think I want to be here? I want to be rich doing cocaine off my girlfriend's boobies. I want to be like dancing around. You know, making lots of money, doing different drugs, trying different things, having people just be like, you're great. Not being like, don't order that drink, sir. Miss, please, come on. You're embarrassing yourself. That's where I'm at right now, not where I want to be in my life. I want to do drugs, and I want to make money for doing it. Help me. This is fun. Is this it? I think so. I've had a nice time up here. Thanks for having me, Garfield Graham. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Yeah, and give it up for this guy. For real, having this show, that takes a lot. Yeah, the bone man. The bone man. Give it up. Give it up. Thank you very much, Derek. Boy, that was funny. He had a lot of energy, didn't he?
This program was produced with the assistance of cat facilities at Stevens College in Columbia, Missouri. Uh, copyright 2012, Bone Man.